So today's English lesson is going to be a little different. Uh, I'm going to tell you a joke, and the joke is this. How does the moon cut his hair? I'll let you think about that for a bit. You'll understand why I'm asking this joke in about three seconds. How does the moon cut his hair? Eclipse it. And this is kind of a little bit of a play on words. An eclipse is when the moon goes across the sun, which is happening in a few days here. But it sounds like he clips it. So when you say eclipse it or he clips it, it almost sounds the same. So the joke is just a little play on words. How does the moon cut his hair? Eclipse it. Um, hey, I don't have a comment to respond to today. Sorry about that. Or a second phrase. I just thought I'd pop out and talk to you for a bit um, about things that are happening. So yes, I'm going to try and do a live stream on my other channel on Monday, April 8th. Uh, about the eclipse so hopefully you can make it to that it's not the best time of day for most of you it's at three i'll probably live stream from about three o'clock until four o'clock the eclipse will have already started but i think we have total darkness from 3 20 until 3 24 or something like that um so uh i'll try to start at a good time i might start a little earlier than two o'clock um but it's happening right here so i'm really looking forward to that why don't I have a comment to reply to? And why don't I have two phrases today? Well, because if you ever listen to my, when I describe my year, this is another busy time. If you want to guess why is Bob busy right now, it's midterms. So midterms would be the middle of the semester. That means that I just spent this week making sure all my students had everything graded. I put grades in for midterm grades. I had to write a little comment from every for every student that's done as well. Uh, so it makes my week a little busy. It's not overwhelming, but it was busy enough that uh, when I got to this point in the day, I thought, you know what, I'll just go outside and tell a joke and uh, kind of explain my busyness. I used to apologize when I'm busy. I don't do that anymore because many of you have said, don't apologize, Bob. You make lots of really good lessons for us. And sometimes having one or two lessons uh, late or Sometimes skipping a lesson isn't a big deal. I don't really like skipping them, but uh, anyways, um, I hope you're having a good week. I hope you have a good Friday. I hope that you understood the joke and hopefully you can tell it to someone else. And uh, I hope to see you on Monday in the, in the chat. I'll have my eclipse glasses on, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to read the chat, but uh, hopefully I see you there. Um, I'll probably schedule the live stream sometime. I'll, I'll, I'll schedule it Sunday with the exact time that I'm going to start on Monday and uh, be prepared that I might start a bit early. I don't know a lot about eclipses, so I'll have to kind of play it by ear. There's a good phrase for you. Maybe look that one up. I have to play it by ear. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in a couple days with another short English lesson. Bye.